Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, I made a big mistake. I didn't bring one small piece of my selfie stick, so I need to do it with my arm. Zoomed in version today, guys. Uh, in today's video, of course, four amazing Bitcoin charts, a beautiful trading tip, very handy. Uh, also, a travel tip, of course, some live advice and talking about the news because something very insane is happening to Bitcoin right now at this moment. Watch the video till the end and enjoy my zoomed in face. <laughs> Let's jump into the charts first. Bam. This is the first chart for today, guys. A beautiful chart showing you that the Bitcoin hash rate is making a new all time high again. We are above 450 million Terra hashes. This is an insane level. We are just getting started. The bull market is just getting started and we are already creating all time highs in the hashing rate. Look to 2021 top where we were with the hashing rate at that moment. We were below 200 million Terra hashes at the 21 bull market top. We are now at 450 million Terra hashes and we are not even near the bull market top. It will take another one and a half years. There is an insane growth for the Bitcoin mining industry. And there is a reason for that growth. And you all understand why that growth is there because the institutional investors are now also starting to invest in Bitcoin mining. BlackRock holds 15% of the top five mining companies of the world. They are investing so that they become bigger and bigger and bigger. This is going to be, Bitcoin is going to be one of the biggest industries in the world in the next decade, guys. And if it is not about mining, it is about performing. And it is the best performing asset in the last decade. In the last decade, Bitcoin made 569,000%. Tesla came near 12,000%. Amazon, 1,000%. Gold. 9% for Peter Schiff out there. Gold, 9%. Peter Schiff, gold, 9%. Bitcoin, 569,000%. So why do you think you should have been in Bitcoin instead of gold or Microsoft or Google or the S&P 500 or Apple or the beautiful Tesla? Because Bitcoin is outperforming all these assets and will keep outperforming all these assets because it's the best technology out there that is revolutionizing the complete monetary system. And if you're talking about gold, then here Plan B always shared beautiful charts. He's not comparing Bitcoin to dollars or to euros because that doesn't really matter. Because dollars and euros are fake. They are being printed out of thin air. It's inflationary. It's like shit. If you want to compare Bitcoin to something, you should compare it to gold. And at the moment, Bitcoin price at 34,800, every Bitcoin is 17.5 ounces of gold, as gold is at 1990 US dollar. These are both store of values. We have a traditional store of value, gold, and we have the 21st century store of value, Bitcoin. And if you compare those with each other, then Bitcoin is doing pretty fine for the amount of years that it exists. We are following beautifully that gold path. So that means that we will keep following that gold path because now the institutional investors will come and flow in because of that spot ETF that will be approved very soon. And then I believe that Bitcoin will outperform gold even more than it already did till now. This is also from plan B guys. This is of course the stock to flow model. And the thing that I just want to point out on this chart is, do you see these blue dots? At the moment we have blue dots. And we saw those blue dots every four year cycle. And after these blue dots, we get the halving. And then from that halving, that is what I want you to notice, we get red dots. And those first three red dots after the halving, they are always explosive going up. Look to the left, to the first time, after the blue dots, three red dots. They went up tremendously, of course, that was the first cycle. The second time, the one that you probably remember, 2017, after the blue dots, three red dots, bam, took Bitcoin up, hugely. And now the last one, in 2000, 
20. Also, the three red dots took Bitcoin up tremendously. So be aware of the fact that these blue dots will stop at that halving at 210,000 blocks or at 840,000 blocks in total. And from that moment, we will create red dots and every dot is one month. So the first three months after April 2024, we're talking about May, June, July, are gonna be explosive months and taking Bitcoin prices to higher levels. Very simple chart. Then we have this chart. The Bitcoin price is the white line and the number of addresses with more than $1,000 of Bitcoin is the green line. So it's not more than 1,000 BTC, that would be insane, but it's about addresses that hold more than 1,000 US dollar. We are creating an all-time high. There is now almost 8 million Bitcoin addresses that hold more than 1,000 US dollar on their wallet. This is a higher level than we had there at the peak of 2021. Those white two double tops, that's the bull market of 2021. Even then, there were not like 8 million addresses that held $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. Also here, creating a new all-time high. This is going to grow insanely in my honest opinion. More and more people will have more than 1,000 US dollar worth of Bitcoin in their portfolio beautiful chart i hope you really enjoy the chart guys yes in the charts it's very important that you zoom out look at the bigger picture in bitcoin don't freak out about the short-term time frames look at those massive all-time highs that you're making in hashing rate new addresses created on the blockchain all of that stuff this means adoption a shitload of people are embracing the love and the power of bitcoin that is the thing that you should be focusing on just keep dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin every day if you can. Because we will go into this massive bull run again all the way up in 2025. Just like the waves keep coming in the sea, these cycles keep moving as well. We are in the four year cycle. We are at that part that you should be buying Bitcoin, not selling Bitcoin. Let's jump into the trading tip. When it comes to trading guys, it's very important that you always identify the trend. Are we in an uptrend? Are we in a downtrend? Are we consolidating? What trend is Bitcoin in? You always need to determine that first before you open your trades. Just check that one first. Look at different time frames. What kind of trend is Bitcoin in? Are we in an uptrend? Yes, a long would be perfect. Are we in a downtrend? Yes, a short would be perfect. Are we consolidating? Wait till we break out and see a confirmation before you go short or long. Always pay attention to the trend. That was a trading tip for today. The trend is your friend. Travel tip for today, guys. A very simple one. Avoid TripAdvisor. Yes, TripAdvisor is nice if you want to find an opening time or an address of a location. But if it comes to the reviews, they're all skewed up. And why? Because these reviews, they're only left there when people hate something or are very negative. Hardly people that are very positive make a review. So the reviews you will see will give you a complete wrong image, for example, of a restaurant. Because only the negative people are commenting there. It was bad, the food was not hot, the coffee had not enough milk, you know, all that shit. The waiter was like not polite to me, that could have been one of the ten waiters that wasn't polite, but that doesn't mean that the other nine waiters are also not polite. So for me, I always avoid TripAdvisor. I just use it to check the location or the opening times, but I don't look at the reviews. I just go there and review it myself. It's way better to not listen to all those people all sharing that negative stuff, but for you to experience that location yourself. Go there, check it. It's same like movies. If you look at those moving rating sites, most movies get like a six. If I watch them, I'm like, wow, you are even better than a movie with a 10. It's all about reviews. And some of these reviews are also being bought. So they even like legit reviews. So don't pay attention to the reviews. Don't use TripAdvisor for the reviews, but use TripAdvisor to find a beautiful restaurant and its location and the opening times. That's the travel tip for today. The news for today, guys, is really cool news. At this moment, at the price of 34,000 US dollar per Bitcoin, 80% of the Bitcoin addresses are in profit. 
there's a new all-time high of addresses being in profit and we are still 50% down below the previous all-time high. So we are not even at the previous all-time high of 70k and already 80% is in profit. This is very bullish news. There is no selling pressure for 80% of the Bitcoin addresses in this industry because they are in profit. They will be buying more and more and more. This is showing you that we are maturing in this industry. People start to understand how to treat Bitcoin, how to treat the cycle, when to sell and when to buy Bitcoin. Because if 80% already in the start of the bull market is in profit, we will very soon be at 100% when we go a little bit more towards the halving and then to 40 and 50K. This has never happened before this early in a bull market. 80% already in profit. Just imagine, 80% doesn't need to sell their Bitcoins because they are in profit. There is no selling pressure. There is only FOMO, buying pressure. People want to get into this industry because if that spot ETF will go and be approved, Bitcoin is going to take off to the moon. And those people that now are in profit are not going to sell their Bitcoins to you. You should be buying now. Buy as much as you can. And to give you an indication, that's almost 40 million addresses in profit. 40 million addresses in profit around the price of 34,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. That's insane. That's really cool. Check this chart. Beautiful to show you how now so many people are in profit already in this pre-phase of the bull market. This is going to be an insane bull market that nobody has ever seen before. In my honest opinion, it's going to be a blow off top, a huge blow off top. The question for today, guys, was uh, about my Bitcoins, altcoins and selling them at the top, yes or no. So to be very honest, I've been talking about this a lot of, a lot of times already, but I'm going to address it again because it's very important for you guys to understand. For us, we are 100% into cryptocurrency and we are diversified between like around 70% in Bitcoin and 30% in altcoins or other kind of investments, guys. Now, if we would go near the previous all-time high, 70k, we will probably already start to sell a little bit, maybe 5% of our portfolio in Bitcoin. And when we go to 80k, we sell another 5%. 90k, 100k, 120k, so we keep dollar cost averaging out of Bitcoin. We are not going to try to predict the perfect top and to catch everything at the top and exchange everything at the top. That's like lunatic. Nobody is able to predict the exact top. You always dollar cost average out. And then when we crash to the bottom, you dollar cost average in. I think it's very important to understand that strategy. There is no use of thinking that you are able to predict the exact top and exchange all your cryptocurrencies at that top. And aside of that, we are not going to exchange all our cryptocurrencies. We will exchange about 30 to 40, maybe this time 50% of our portfolio. But the rest of that portfolio will just stay in Bitcoin. That's our saving capital. That's like a pension fund. That's like our store of value. We don't need to sell those 50%. But to be clear, at the end, we will probably still be in with 50% of our capital. It's only 50% that we play with and that we sell a little bit on the market and then buy back in the bear market bottom. We used to do this with 30%, but because I do believe that this bull market is going to be an insane bull market that we have never experienced before, because of all the institutional adoption, etc., we are going to do a little bit more this time. So we will top it up to 50%. So 50% of our Bitcoins, altcoins will be sold around the bull market top, dollar cost average out in that top. And then when we crash with 60 or 70% to a bear market, probably above 30,000 US dollar per Bitcoin, yeah, we will start to buy uh, Bitcoin back and multiply our Bitcoins and our alts that way. Every four year cycle we do the same. Maybe this time a little bit more, so up to 50% of our capital will be dollar cost average out. The rest of that 50% will just stay in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is our core main capital. We don't need to go to euros or dollars because we don't trust euros or dollars. We trust Bitcoin. So that is our core capital, so why would we exchange everything into something else? Because yes, there's also the possibility that, that Bitcoin will take off and never come back. If it will become the new gold of the 21st century, if countries start to adapt it worldwide as a new world reserve currency, all these possibilities are still there. And if that will happen, then Bitcoin will go to insane prices. And then that 50% that we still have in our, hard, in our long term huddle portfolio, yeah, will also increase in profit. 
and that other 50% that we sold will then be underwater. We can't buy back Bitcoin as cheap anymore as we thought that we could. And we will live of that or do their investments and other things. So everyone has a different strategy and the important part now is that you determine what is your strategy. And if you need like people to brainstorm with, then join the Bitcoin Family VIP members because you can ask any question you want every day there to your fellow VIPs, but also to me every day in Telegram. So sign up to the Bitcoin Family VIP group, go to the bitcoinfamily.com products and you will find how to do that. That was the answer to the question for today. Bam. Wow, my arm starts to hurt guys, uh, I'm turning around. Uh, now let's go into the life quote for today. Um, that's not a life quote, it's more an advice. I think it's very important for you guys to always stay positive. Staying positive will bring you way more happiness and love and success in your life than staying negative. Just be positive. Whatever happens to you or whatever situation you might find yourself in, stay positive. Staying positive, help, well, staying positive, guys, will help you to overcome any challenge in life. It will just improve the quality of life if you're completely positive every time again and again. And of course, you will have ups and downs. I also have my ups and downs. But when I get down, I try to stay positive. And that is how I overcome these downs, how I overcome these challenges, by being positive even in the worst case scenarios. Try to stay positive. There is always something worse that could have happened. You're still alive, you're still breathing, your family is alive, everyone is healthy. Stay positive. Take a deep breath, think by yourself. I'm thankful for all the positiveness and go forward again and overcome that challenge that made you negative. So that was the live advice for today. My arm is starting to hurt. I really need to stop recording. And uh, now I understand why they invented a selfie stick, uh, but stay positive is my life tip for today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video again. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about the video? Don't be distracted again. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about everything else I talked about? I wish you an amazing Tuesday and hopefully see you tomorrow on Wednesday again. Bam.